Aloha, I'm Kala'i Miller. Every 4th of July, Paniolos and spectators from across the islands make the trip to the Oski Rice Arena in Makawao, Maui for a weekend of rodeo and celebration. The rodeo started in 1956, and today the family of the original organizers continue the upcountry Maui tradition with the Makawao Stampede Rodeo. My favorite thing about Makawa Rodeo is how big it is. My favorite part about rodeoing is the friends I make. My favorite part about coming to the Makawa Rodeo is meeting new people and that awesome experience that you get. It's just the craziness and everything that happens, I love it, everything about it. The grit and how tough it is to do, so not a lot of people do it. Uh, my name is Nixon Noose, I'm 11 years old. I've been rodeoing for four years. I do bull riding, breakaway, team roping, goat tying, double mugging, and ribbon roping. My name's Ken Miranda, I'm the general manager here of Kanulu Ranch. We own the Oski Rice Arena facility here and the surrounding pastures and also the polo field. I have started doing the Makawao Stampede Rodeo here the last couple years. Konolu Ranch is my family ranch. It was originally owned by my great-grandfather, H.W. Pop Rice. It's been in our family since 1916. And right now, my husband and I run it for the family. About 70 years ago, my dad approached his father, Oski, and said they wanted a place for the cowboys to display their skills, to play. So he asked for an arena that they could build for the cowboys to come and compete, mostly against ranch cowboys against each other. My grandfather, Oski, said, okay, you guys want to build an arena? Here you go. You guys can have this piece of property, build an arena, you manage it, and you can have it. After the first couple years, Maui Roping Club was formed and they produced the Mukawao 4th of July Rodeo. They produced it for 65 years, did an awesome job. And then as things happen, new chapters in history, and the ranch decided to take the land back and renovate the facility. And we moved it from the old location and we built this new facility for the community to enjoy. The rodeo is now called the 4th of July Mukawal Stampede and it's held 4th of July weekend here. Last year was our first year producing it. We were limited because of COVID, but we opened it up. This year we are full on open. <laughs> I'm a fourth generation cowboy actually. I've been doing rodeo for professionally for 13 years now, but I've been involved with it ever since I was little. I started just like anybody else with a rope in my hand, whether that was a bull rope or a team rope or just riding horses. So in the steer wrestling, you, you're basically running a fast horse. Um, that horse is starting from zero mile an hour to 30, 35, 40 mile an hour. And its object is to pass that steer. And as he's passing that steer, you go ahead and slide down off the side of that horse onto that steer. Catching that steer by the horns and then being able to move that steer's hips alongside and then throw them on the ground. Well, as you're backing in that box and you're kind of getting ready to nod and of course, the adrenaline's pumping a little bit, but I try to keep my mind as clear as possible, and that gate cracks, and I go down the arena, grab my steer, and throw them, and I think my first time was a, probably a 7.3 or a 7.5, somewhere around there. Come on, Judd, let's get it done. Oklahoma Cowboys, Oklahoma, he can hear you. He's down. Good job, Judd! 
I didn't think I was gonna win because that was the first time I had competed in the steer wrestling since 2008. It's just kind of one of those things for me that I was gonna just do my best and have fun and that worked out. I came out with the win. Gosh, Makawao has cowboy roots that are legendary. Ikua Purdy is the guy that founded the whole roping competition here in Hawaii. He went to Cheyenne, Wyoming and won the World Steer Roping Championships way back in the day where he had to take a schooner and then a train to get there. Nothing like what anybody has to deal with today. And you know, now he's buried up here in, in Kula at Ulupalakua Ranch. The ranching rodeo polo history here in Makoao is amazingly deep. And we've had some really, really good cowboys and cowgirls come out of here as the rest of Hawaii in general. The vaqueros came to teach the Paniolos, the Hawaiians, how to take care of the wild cattle that were running rampant around here. Um, but those skills are still prevalent today. In rodeo, we have two events that we call Hawaii's own event. One is the Po'o'o'a'u and one is the double mugging. Those two events actually were created by my father, Freddie, and his buddies, George Manoa, and a few other guys. Po'o'a'u is a rodeo event that should uh, look like how it was roping cattle in the mountains. They would go up to the mountains and rope the wild cattle, uh, tie them up to a tree, either for a day or overnight, and they would bring them down the next day tied to an oxen. Come on, he's up rope. Yep, yep, yep. is double mugging. One cowboy ropes the animal by the head, another cowboy on the ground knocks it down, and then they tie up three legs and call for time. events, team roping and tie down and all, bull riding, they're kind of traditional events, but if you're from Hawaii and you're a cowboy, you want to be proficient at po'o'a'u and double mugging. There's paniolo on every island in the state of Hawaii. When they get together, for example, this weekend, we're one paniolo family. That it doesn't matter where you came from or who your family is. Everybody's family for us, doesn't matter your last name. If you're in the rodeo community, you're family. And everybody treats you like family. The community looks forward to this 4th of July weekend all year long. Everybody grabs a pair of cowboy boots and a, and a hat and shows up here and, and enjoys participating in one form or another, whether it be in the spectator side or over here actually competing in the arena, being a full-on cowboy for a weekend. Others pursue it a little more seriously. Watch Miss Rain. There we go. Come on. Swing over that back. Oh no, no time. Yes, follow through. Oh. On the left hand side, giving it all. Oh, how did he get out of that? He got out of it, Rob. That's good. All they've got to do is test. Come on. They got the head in on. Let's watch what the heel is going to do. Yes, sir. Guess what, Everybody loves to watch rodeo. It brings everybody together because no matter if you're like an ocean person, a Paniolo, whatever you do in life, everybody loves to come and watch the rodeo. The 4th of July Makwa Stampede is an amazing event in our community. It not only brings uh, people out of their homes to celebrate the 4th of July, our Independence Day, but it brings the community together. We have people that come from all over the island, actually people fly in from off island to spectate it. But the best part is that we have people that fly in from all over the state to compete. It tightens our rodeo family. Um, you don't get an opportunity to see each other throughout the year and you come here for a weekend 
yes to win the buckle, yes to win the money, but really to spend a weekend rodeoing side by side with friends and family that you haven't seen all year. Um, it's good, tough, friendly competition, um, but it's also an amazing weekend. The community comes out, you can have kupunas coming out um, in their lahala hats and put on their lepo'o, get their best uh, rodeo shirts on, along with your babies that are running around um, with balloons and streamers celebrating the day. Our event is a non-alcoholic event. We really um, promote that it's a family event, that it's a safe, fun, great place to come um, from babies to the oldest kupunas um, and everyone in between and that it's just a really good uh, time to get together and celebrate life. My name is Kaipo Soledad and I'm from Maui, Hawaii. I've been doing rodeo since I was 16, so about nine years. I used to ride bulls, but now I only fight bulls. So when the bull rider falls or gets into a sticky situation, I step between the rider and the bull and kind of distract the bull and take the hit if you have to. You all kind of get hit, like that's, it's kind of part of the job. It's just getting back up and doing it if you love it, which I love to do it, so. Yeah, there's bumps and bruises and some broken bones here and there, but you always, for some reason you always come back. I didn't come from rodeo or Paniolo background at all. My dad's a professional surfer, so I grew up surfing. But I got into rodeo because the island's so small, so you kind of go to school with everybody. You go to school with Paniolos, you make friends. So one of my best friends since I was a kid did rodeo, so that's how I started riding bulls. And then after riding bulls for a couple years, I got hurt and I decided to fight bulls. I fight bulls professionally, but I always come back to Makwa because home is always home. That's where I started. Makwa Rodeo was my first rodeo I ever fought at. It's really something super special about Hawaii that we are competitors. We are rodeoing our hardest, but at the end of the day, what happens outside the arena is way more important. They're gonna make memories, they've got friendships, that are gonna last a lifetime. You win a buckle, you gotta go win it again. You make a friend, that friend is your friend for life. Our mission is training arena champions, but raising life champions. And that life champion lasts forever. And so that spirit, that attitude, that you're not competing against somebody, you're competing with them. All right, let's see. Roy's got him rolled. James is going to come in and help him out with the mugging. This is where the wrestling match starts, folks. Buckle Wild, they need some encouragement from you in the grandstands. Come on. Help them out as they're getting over this. I got my rodeo family and my family out here and they're the people that support me through rough times and keep my head up when things aren't going so well and encourage me and got my back when I go off and we'll be in the mainland. I always know that I got someone over here rooting for me the whole time. Daniel Miranda! Come on, Daniel. Go, 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 yes! Oh! Talk about Rodeo in Hawaii in general, it's a big family sport. Um, we all support each other and that's a big thing. I mean, we're all here in the middle of the ocean, so we might as well do what we can to help strive and keep this sport alive here for the, the rest of the keiki coming up under us. 